Hey guys, I'm your host for the American Dream, Kayla Lindsay, and today we are in Plaza Midwood. As you can see behind me, there is a beautiful skyline shot because Plaza Midwood sits just outside of downtown Charlotte. Now, unbeknownst to most people, Plaza Midwood actually has the most street art of anywhere in Charlotte, and we're gonna take you on a tour of that today. I'm also gonna show you some of the local haunts and end up at one of my favorite places ever. So, let's go take a look. So one of my favorite murals in Plaza Midwood is also the biggest mural. Absolutely gorgeous and depicts the god, Greek god, Poseidon. This is one of my favorite murals, not only because it's size and scale, but also because of the way that they used the paints. And here is my favorite mural, well, second favorite here in Charlotte, done by the artist Jax, who is nationally known. Now you can follow him on Instagram. I highly recommend it. But behind me is one of the murals that he did in Charlotte. In fact, He's done more than one. This one just stands out as my favorite, but it's got a little bit of gold and maybe that's why. Plaza Midwood's art is exceptional. There's a few different reasons for this. One, different artists, two, different meanings, and three, different mediums. Now all across Charlotte, there are different art walks that you can go check out. Why this is one of my favorites, however, is because you have so many different eclectic artists that have come together in just a single area and a single neighborhood. One of the things that I also see and I truly appreciate is the way that they tie in different historic events and some of the culture of the local area. Charlotte has a habit of reusing old buildings. Now, you can find that everywhere within Charlotte, but you're gonna find it even more so here in Plaza Midwood. From the buildings to my right, to the buildings to my left, one of the best examples of this is right behind me here. Supperland is upscale dining, fire roasted with a phenomenal selection of bourbons, wines, and beers. This building is converted from an old church and rectory, and now it has absolutely delicious fire grilled and fire roasted food, which you can watch them cook from the bar area. And it makes a great spot either for tapas and appetizers or for a really nice romantic meal. So check out Supperland, highly recommend it you might not have seen is all of the rooftop bars and restaurants and coffee shops that we have here in Charlotte. Burial Brewing originated in Asheville, but we have been blessed with our own brewery here in Charlotte. In addition to that, within spinning distance are two additional rooftop restaurants, including Whiskey Warehouse. So like most neighborhoods close to downtown Charlotte, the homes are classic in nature, a little bit smaller, even though some people have decided to fully renovate, expand, and sometimes tear down. Now, if you wanna be in Plaza Midwood and own a home here, make sure you keep your thumb on the pulse of the market because only a few dozen go up for sale every year. Now, if you're special enough to catch a property here in Plaza Midwood, welcome to the neighborhood. If not, it's still really easy to visit whenever you want. So we've already taken a look at some of the most amazing murals in Charlotte here in Plaza Midwood. But if you're just looking for something to do, just get out of the house and go for a nice walk, this is one of the best spots to go. Not only are there shops and dining, but you could even just grab something as simple as a donut or a scoop of ice cream. to end this out at Milk Bread. And you might notice this building looks a little familiar. That's because it was an original Dairy Queen here in Charlotte. I told you, we like to reuse buildings. Fun fact about Milk Bread is it's actually an offshoot of an upscale restaurant, Kindred, in Davidson. So if you're interested in getting some delicious food, check that out. But if you want dessert, definitely check out Milk Bread. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's delicious not only for those who are pregnant, so this has been Kayla Lindsay with the American Dream. And until next time, I look forward to showing you around town.